And we are back tonight uh, going to the scene of that shooting in Kansas City, Kansas, where nine people were shot. Four people are dead. And KNBC 9's Matt Fleener is out at the scene tonight. Matt, it is hard to imagine what these families are feeling, the grief that they're feeling, as we are now getting our first images of the suspects in today's shooting. Matt. Yeah, those suspects pictures being released and it has been a very long day for friends, family, even police who were out here early this morning investigating these shootings. There's actually going to be a vigil here later tonight at seven o'clock. We're at the back of the bar right here where police say those two shooters entered and a lot of people are wondering why. It's the worst news to ever hear. Four people are dead, five others shot family and friends outside the Tequila KC bar left to wonder why. My best friend's just really in shock right now and she's not doing well. Shea Celadon knows several of the victims. Witnesses say two shooters walked into the back of the bar and opened fire. Celadon saw one of the men get kicked out of the bar just hours earlier. My best friend's husband was one of the victims, you know. They were planning their wedding next October. We got grandfathers, uncles, cousins, brothers, everybody here, we're all family. Family and friends now comforting each other. This guy had bad intentions. Nine people shot, four dead. That's really bad. We just want to know why. Now, witnesses say the shooting lasted about a minute long. And again, a lot of people trying to figure out where those suspects are tonight. Uh, hoping to find out that information very soon. Live in KCK, Matt Fleener, KMC 9 News. So many questions still unanswered tonight. Mm -hmm. Our KMBC 9 team coverage continues with William Joy. He has the latest on the search for the suspects here. And William, we just got those pictures and they're really clear surveillance images of the suspects here. That's one of the benefits. Fortunately, there was good surveillance video. Haley, Emily, right now, all attention is on finding those men responsible. Take another look at these photos. According to both police and witnesses, there was some sort of fight earlier in the night that happened at this bar, but that these men came back to the bar through a back entrance, walked up to the bar and then started shooting. As you mentioned, fortunately, there's good video, so we have these images and are able to share them. You can see the faces of the men and what they were wearing at the time. Four people are dead right now, five more recovering after being injured. One bar regular who knew the victim says everyone right now needs to help find these shooters. You want somebody off the street that's like that. With that mentality or with that power, with firearms, you want them off the streets. They need to get off the streets ASAP. And friends of these victims say it's not just about the safety factor of getting these men off the street. It's also about closure for the families, for the families that are grieving right now. Reporting live from KCKPD headquarters, William Joy, KNBC 9 News. And Kansas lawmakers are calling this shooting senseless. Senators Jerry Moran and Pat Roberts are offering their prayers to the victims and their families. Congresswoman Sharice Davis says that her heart breaks for everyone impacted. And Governor Laura Kelly says that she is frustrated with the frequency of mass shootings and is calling it a public health crisis. 